Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of cancer for the month of March 2023. So before I begin, I'd like to um, welcome everyone back to this monthly series and to also welcome anyone who's new to our angelic wisdom community and right away just go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed and you uh, the all notification bell is selected like dislike um at the end of the video leave comments um and it's really important that you share your comments as what you add to the reading um may be inspired and may, may help someone else um to understand those insights. So, you know, this is about the oneness. Oneness is about what you what you give, what you receive, give it, okay? And so um, also, you know, I've done, I posted the monthly angel reading for March already, and um, make sure that you go check that out, okay? Like really go check it out. And I mentioned in there a deck, which I'm going to put on, in the bottom in the description link here that I've been working with, um, called the Lemurian Star Child Oracle. This is a great deck. I'm using this in my practice as my um, healing meditation practice. And it's just really helping me with the ascension energies and um, just things with my aura and, you know, just finding that place where you kind of feel like you're out of balance is so good for this. It's the most extraordinary um, resource for it that I've stumbled upon. I had it for a year and I didn't really get that it was, um, <laughs> I guess, you know, when you need it, you need it, right? So, um, but I'll put the links to her, their Etsy um, shop in the description area. Now, let's see. Also, if you'd like to get an angel reading with me, you can go to my current website, theangelschool.com um, slash services. There's a link below this video. Um, it will probably be March by the time this is up. So just know that for my birthday month, I've extended the first time promotional um, angel reading. So everybody can sign up for that reading at this time. Um, and also um, be aware that if you would just like to contribute to my channel, um, there's my PayPal me link that's also in the description area and whatever you offer um, there will be greatly appreciated and everything goes back into um, the channel and let's see the final piece is the um, cards here this video is gonna be a little weird because I'm shooting this kind of late and I had to put on my lamp and so the lighting might be a little different than we're used to I like to have natural lighting but I wanted to get this four of them done today and then four uh, that leaves me four of the next day and four another day <laughs> um so anyway but um the card in the center represents the archangel that you'll be working with and the, the card on the right and the left will represent the um the major arcana lesson theme challenge um you know the the energy that's that's really influencing everything, and then the card on the left, uh, right, excuse me, will be the minor kind of indicating how it's showing up and those energies are showing up in our day to day awareness and how you can work with it. Let me just try one more thing with the lighting here, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna pause for a moment. Okay, so I just put on a bigger light, but it's just gonna cast a lot of shadows. I'm sorry, but I didn't want it to be too much in the dark. Um, so let's just take a deep breath together now. And just tune in to your heart space. And really just have the intention of opening your heart and feeling that energy just surround you and flow out into the world. Now, they wrote the word bold, <laughs> um, cancer. And, um, and that might be sort of shocking to you in some way. 
Um, and they, they were showing me, I don't know why they're showing me the mask. Um, so, huh. And it's, it's sort of like a Miss Piggy um, wearing a mask. Isn't that interesting? And um, a cape and a hat. So this gives me the sense of um, not being quite forthcoming, not being, um, maybe you're thinking about doing something that you might want to rethink um, about the way that you're going to go about it. So it may not be any, it, and it feels like you just need to show up, be true to yourself. And the mask over the mouth, mouth may be like a filter, right? So maybe you're having trouble um, conveying something and you're trying to filter the way it comes out in order to protect everyone else. But in fact, you're trying to protect yourself. As a matter of fact, you're trying to protect your identity like how you want people to see you or how you're used to being perceived in a way that makes you comfortable in the world and who you really need to be right now is you need to boldly be yourself you need to speak your truth and you need to speak it out loud um, not just running in your head, you know, because people kind of look at you, you're, you're quiet, you don't say much, but there's a lot of meaning on your face. And it, it sort of looks repressed or suppressed. So they, they, the angels really want you to open up and just say it. Trust yourself because you're so in tune, intuitively and insightful that there are people who need to hear what you have to say the way you say it. And this is also about a shift in your energy that will come about because of this. Like your energy is just gonna lighten up and free up, all right? You're gonna have more energy, more time, um, and possibly more resources because you, you know, and they write the word resignation. And I don't know if that's like resigning from something or just um, that you resign yourself to the fact that you cannot play this the way you've been playing it any longer. And I don't know why they wrote the word diagnosed. Um, they didn't write, but they're they're writing excessive so it seems like you over you you diagnose things too much you hold on to it you diagnose it and then you before you know it you, it's compressed they write and it seems like they're trying to say like you just they wrote the word polite and i'm gonna forget the other word uh, <laughs> I mean, they wrote compressed and there was another word, but it's like, you're just trying to be too polite, you know, and can't always be like that. And it probably, what your definition of impolite is still polite. And so you just need to resign yourself that you just, you have to, that there are certain things in life that just have to be handled a certain way, that have to be said a certain way, and it cannot be filtered, okay? All right, let's take a look at the Major Arcana card. Ah, Seraphim, Seraphisa. And I think the message it says, relax and open up to source. Keep your heart open. And you know, it's interesting because be, be aware of tension, okay? Be aware of your body as an instrument and if it was a string instrument and you were wound up too tightly, the the notes would somehow be off. They would be unpleasant as well. But when you relax your body, you relax your heart, you relax your mind, and you become a channel for soothing, loving guidance you become less stressed and then you become you learn to appreciate that stresslessness 
in this in the sense that you find it just easier to easier to just say what's on your mind, to say what's on your heart, than to live the other way. Okay. So just keep your heart open. You know, if you find yourself being kind of closed-minded about something. All right, now, the moon card <laughs> is also associated with the sign of cancer. So you're kind of in your element in this way, right? But now, in terms of intuition, but you have to be aware that if you don't express yourself, it can turn in to delusions, right? Or your fears can take over and you start feeding your fears or your illusions, as it says. So, you know, I always feel like this card presents a choice. Usually one animal is a wolf and one the other one is, is, a, is a, a dog. And so there's that sort of wild, untamed, and there's a domesticated and and um you know sort of lack of better word cultivated right so there is there is this thing of you know balancing the two you don't want to just be like completely out of control and you don't want to be com completely controlled right but you want to allow sort of a, a merging of uh, these this raw instinct and and cultivated instinct and that raw instinct is like you're just open to to um possibilities you're 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 willing to go that that boldness that they're talking about right um the cultivated is something that you've learned and you've refined but right now you need to learn lean into that bold sort of unrefined um, energy and somehow there's somewhere in the between but I feel like you neglect one right and you need to have that balance of the two so really trust your intuition don't um, don't be afraid of the bold ideas and and insights that you get really lean into them and trust that they're leading you and guiding you somewhere. All right, so you have the four of earth. And I don't know, like, I feel like this is, you know, sort of about not being too conservative, not holding um, holding too much in. And so how this might show up for you is that the more your intuition sort of gives you these really strong, powerful insights that you might um, sort of want to clam up and because you're afraid of maybe rocking the boat in some way. And so you kind of need to trust your angels. And in the back, that the angel number 44, which is about the angels are supporting you and surrounding you. Um, let me just look at that number, in the angel number book. Yeah, it says angels are giving you extra comfort, love, and support right now. Ask them for help with everything and listen. That's the word I just saw in front of me. To their guidance through your intuition. So they want you to listen. And they want you to know that they have, you know, they're giving you extra comfort. Because they know this is not easy for you. But if you listen to them the advice, the guidance that you will receive, if you trust at the moment, that that'll be exactly, you will feel the connection that it's just the right thing to be said at the right time. Trust your compassion, but don't let it hold you back and fool you that compassion means that you're just nice. Compassion is that you see the truth in others and you bring that truth to light no matter what risk you might feel that it might cost you but your purpose is not about you your purpose is universe universal right it's angelic um the guidance you're bringing all right so i send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month 
of March Cancer. God bless.